Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I have a book haul and this is my very very first book haul. I have done like a mini haul in which I bought like only like two books so I do not really count that as like a book haul but this time it's officially a book haul. I'm very very excited because the last time that I really bought some books was in January and I think that back then I bought five books. I do not have enough money to um do like a monthly book haul. This is the very lonely sad package. Let's see if I can do this in one time because a lot of people can't. Oh well. I I just can't open packages. Oh maybe it's because I need to pull on this side. I'm so stupid and I can't even do it so whatever. It's really pretty yeah, it's actually pretty small. I thought it would be a little bit bigger, but I'm really excited for this book. So I bought On the Fence by Casey West. I've seen a lot of people read Casey West lately and someone recommended it to me on Goodreads as well. So I was like, oh, this sounds pretty interesting. But on the Fence is about this girl named Charlotte Reynolds, which she calls herself Charlie, and she's being raised by a single dad and has three uh, other brothers, so she kind of knows how to, you know, like, deal with guys, and her sort of, like, fourth brother, but not really, is her neighbor named Brayden, I think. She got, like, a speeding ticket because, you know, she needs to pay money, but she can't, so she takes a job at, like, a really chic boutique or something, and she gets a lot of stress from that, and every night she talks to Brayden, her neighbor, uh, on the fence, I think, um, to talk off her like stress and her problems, but there's one really big problem and that is that she is falling hot for Brayden, I think. So now you guys will see the future me of Friday. Bye! <laughs> Hi guys, so I'm back. It is Thursday and not Friday because the package came in early, yes! One I pre-ordered, I ordered it as a separate thing, so I'm not too sure, but we will find out because I'm gonna open it right now and I'll probably not do it correctly as well. We will see. Oh my god. So excited. <laughs> and I just can't hide it. Uh, did it work? Did it work? No. Yes! Ta -da! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <gasps> yes! Again, I got a really nice scarf, just like the last time. It's very fashionable. The thing that I pre-ordered, and I don't know if you guys know it already, I don't think so. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, the second book in the To All the Boys I Love Before duology. And I'm so excited because, oh my god, I need to read it very soon. And I bought it in a hard cover because I wanted it to match my um, To All the Boys I Love Before copy. <gasps> oh my god, look at it without dust jacket. It's baby blue. Yes, I still love you. I am so excited to start reading this book, guys. And I really want to make a, um, a book review about this book so that, you know, you guys can see what I think of it. And oh, look at that cover. So the actual reason that I made this whole book order was because this book, Scarlet, the second book in the Lunar Chronicles, was like very cheap. It was like 7 euros and 66 euro cents, which is quite cheap for books. Um, and yeah, so I was like, okay, I do not know if I like Cinder or if I will like this series, but this one is so cheap that I just need to get it. Whoa, it's actually like a pretty big book. This is like 100 pages bigger than Cinder. It's really pretty too. I am gonna collect this series all in paperback because I don't know, paperbacks are just much cheaper. And that shine though, that shine. And I bought a book which I was like, should I get it or I don't know if I would get it, but then I was like, if I won't get it, I'm gonna be like, I really wanted to have that one. It is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey and I'm really excited. This is like a book about aliens and the um, they all come in waves or something, the alien attacks, and this one is about the fifth wave. The sequel came out last year and the third book, and I don't know if it's gonna be like a trilogy or anything like that, is coming out next year and the movie is coming out next year in 2016 so and I really wanted to read this one and now I finally have it and it's like a really nice uh paperback <laughs> so apparently I had cookie crumbs all over my mouth the whole time I'm really excited for these next two books and also for this one because I've heard like 
a lot of things about this book lately on YouTube that for the past like three to four months and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will know about which book I'm talking. It is, oh my god, it's really nice. It is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. It looks really nice. It looks really nice and it's really pretty. I can wait to start this one because I've heard like pretty much like I've heard like mixed feelings about it but a lot of good things a few bad things but I'm still like really excited it's a fantasy book about people with red blood and people with silver blood and people with um silver blood have like power and like rule the kingdom and the people with red blood are like the hard workers and all that stuff and we follow a girl named Mare I think and she is a red blood but has the powers of a silver blood so Yes. What's gonna happen? We don't know. I'm gonna find out because right now I can read it. Oh my god! This one is really, really pretty. Whoa, it's huge! It is Air of Fire by Sarah D. Mass, and look! It is even bigger than my face! It is like 550 pages, but it's so beautiful and big, and I got this big ass book for 13 euros which i think is really good for such a big book so i just finished a throne of glass and i also have crown of midnight standing on my shelves but i had those two in paperback because i was planning on buying this whole series in paperback but air of fire in paperback is coming out in september and in september the fourth book queen of shadows comes out and then i need to wait another year to get the paperback and i'm like no i just want to read the stories so i am gonna buy the hard covers from book three on and it is so pretty and I can't wait to start Crown of Midnight and then afterwards start this one because this one is a beast of a book and it's really pretty and I oh, it's so stunning so this was my first ever book haul on YouTube slash book unboxing I don't know what I'm gonna call it but I'm really excited to read all these books and I do not have any room on my shelf left because I use like my drawer as a shelf so I need to get a real shelf pretty soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time.